To begin with, the purpose of the divot tutor is to initiate solid contact with the understanding that when that happens, a divot will be the result. Let's visit some of the common tendencies among many golfers that don't initiate solid contact or hit the ball solidly. One of the most common tendencies among many golfers is to pick or sweep the ball off the surface. So on their angle of attack, they're only going to capture a small portion of the ball on the lower surface of the club, thus missing the center of the club where solid contact happens, which is right here. When the pros make contact with the ball, they don't pick or sweep it off the surface. They go down and through on the ball. Once again, the pros rarely pick or sweep the ball off the surface. They will contact that lower edge of the ball with the leading edge of the club, follow down and through, capturing all the ball in the center of the club face. The next common tendency among many golfers is to hit behind the ball what's commonly called a fat shot, where the club will land just before the ball and bounce into it. What the divot tutor will do will teach you to correct these two common tendencies. Let's talk about the physical properties of the divot tutor that make it an ideal training aid for solid contact. The design of the divot tutor challenges and trains the golfer to hit the lower edge of the ball first, go through the intermediary clip down to the lower surface, thus ensuring solid contact. At the same time, the divot tutor gives you a strong visual cue to get that club to the lower surface. All right, let's take this out and see how to practice with the divot tutor. To begin with, because the divot tutor is about an inch high, you want to choke up on your club to allow for that offset. To begin practicing with the divot tutor, we are concerned about a four inch area. It begins with the lower edge of the ball and ends about two inches in front of the clip with the club on the lower surface. Once again, we're going to concentrate on striking the lower edge of the ball with the leading edge of the club and continue down and through to this lower surface and capturing all the ball on the center of the club face. When you first start practicing with the divot tutor, try to exaggerate your effort to get to that lower surface so you can feel the club at the bottom of this lower surface. After you've established the feel of the lower surface, next try to feel the ball on the center of the club face when you've reached that lower surface. Mm -hmm.